Life goes on all night long. I don't know what that means. Hey there, one SoCal playing load screen here for Life Goes On. And we got you no know, last time with the introduction of zombies. I feel like now the title makes lyrical sense. Well, death, life goes on even into the undead janitor. Here we go, we got zombies in the temple. We got a big old puzzle. Just a saw blade hanging out, and I got a battery that I can't gnaw. I'm gonna need to throw a zombie at it, probably. How about that? Uh, and then I do that, and then I can, yeah, throw a zombie at it here. Uh, he's gonna go in that, uh, do you think, think Jeff is up there? Like I do a powerful zombie hop above the saw blade? So I know I can do a powerful hop. Hey, the zombie's still alive, so... Yeah, oh, and his weapon is floating on there, that's pretty cool. Hey, watch out, these are all dead bodies there. Well, okay, I, I don't know where Jeff is, but it's just, it's a possibility, man. Like, you got a saw blade. Maybe the saw blade is just to remove the soul gauge. Everything is possible. All right, so we got fire, we got spikes. That's fun. So we got this that I do by accident. <laughs> got falling down here. Got a rope system that I can make permanent by doing this. I don't know if I want to. There's the grail. There's a zombie machine that I didn't expect. What do you do? Fill this up. Um. So now that's going to be unpermanent, which is interesting. Is that helpful though? So what I might want to do... Can I have more than... I like, I can't have more than one zombie as a thing. Alright, let's throw that zombie over there because that'll let me go through this gate. That's what I want to do right now. Right, I can So Jeff is way up there. <laughs> what are you doing way up there, Jeff? It's like you don't want to be eaten. Oh, look at that. And then I can... <laughs> Alright, there's two doors down there. So I need both of these? So I need to move this into the middle then. Okay, I don't know what I need to do. That's gonna move that around. Like, if I put a body there... Yo! Wait a second. Is that how I can get myself catapulted? Like, I feel like there's various things I'm curious about, but I want to see if I can get, like, catapulted. Before I do anything else. Uh, it's hard to tell. Because like, uh, jeez. Well, now I'm stuck doing what just killed me. It's fine. We're sciencing. So yeah, like, like, let, let's look at this for a second. This is the state that it's in. He's gonna wiggle that around. I can do that wiggling around too. So what I think I want to do is guide a zombie in there. And that's gonna something something. All right, that's completely Gretch wishes violence there, friend. I hope you're aware of it. There was nothing left in that thing. So now that just moves awkwardly all over the place, which is kind of what I want, maybe. Because now I can put the spike on. I can put that here, and I can like aim that and. Yeah, now we got that going, so that's just gonna go forever, and I can power up this battery just as easily by having a body on each of these switches. Now that's open. 
To get this closed again, I need to destroy this. I think the easiest way to do that would be to send a zombie down? Maybe? I still don't know what to do about Jeff, but that's okay. Because you're gonna clear that, which means I can now send another zombie there to clear that, and I can get up there. Like, I'm behind here, it's all good, and I can get- WHOA! So you can get catapulted! If the conditions are correct. Alright, zombie-assisted victory count as a victory. Here's a pile, here's a banner, and there's a lot of time and greed. Uh, well, look at that, I got a big old novelty fork! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. I love it kind of a little bit. Cup of ennui. What do we even do with that? All right, I got like everything I still need to do. I still wonder if there's a way. Okay, it's like, what should I do here? I don't know. So I do this. I have to kill myself. It is not an option. Here we go, zombie town. All right, let's just try to get the score, and then afterwards I can try various wonderful things for Jeff. I think that's a good way to look into that. Yeah, that sure is a violent destruction of a body you did there, Mr. Zombie. You did it. All right, so what do we want here? All right, so first... I need to do down things to power up the machine there. Look at that. This bridge is a bridge. Uh, it's the bridge zone, baby! Alright, so now that's taken care of, and that's taken care of. So I can do this. That's right. There we go. We even got like the sweet V shape to make sure that it physics good. Good times, good call. Electrifying victory. Now, if I could just physics this away from here, that'd be great. Okay, I'm allowed a pretty good amount of death. So, okay, so what I did last time release a zombie down there to release that. Switch. One day, every day. Beautiful. So I can send a zombie over there to release that switch. Wonderful and beautiful. It seems, feels very wasteful, but at the same time, it's fun having a reliable way to remove a body. And we did a zombie assisted victor. Wow, that was Purple Head. Alright, I wouldn't have thought about it. Jeff, what do we do about you? You're up there. Even if I could get up here, I don't think that would be very useful. I think it might be the flip mechanics, honestly. Like, my theory is to use a zombie ramp like to, like, hitch a ride, and, uh, uh, that's no good. <clears throat> bad job. Like, if it's possible, it's very hard to pull off. Maybe it'd be easier to test me. See? There I did get pushed up a lot. But it's nearly possible to time. Is the problem. I mean, like, otherwise, like, how else could you do this? You can jump on top of- oh, you can just jump on top of that. Oh, you can just jump on top of that! Oh my god, I made this so much harder on myself. Okay. Fair. Fair. I've killed so many people for basically no reason. I didn't turn off the fire, so that zombie is dead. Maybe not. Oh man, I made this so much harder on myself. Jeff, you're just here. Um, I 
don't know what I'm looking at, though. Okay, clearly I'm supposed to power that, but how? Is it like, just physics? Like, you go like, uh, and eventually you get pushed down that way? Maybe. Let's spend copious amounts of bodies on this. It's the only way. Eventually something's gonna fall in there. <laughs> oh man, so much waste in getting that going. And then so much other waste in, uh, in something. Uh, and just getting a body in, in the battery. It's very sad. <laughs> Alright, what is my devotion to Jeff, you ask? My devotion to Jeff is this much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> hey, it happens. Uh, stop, lock, and roll. All these dance moves. All right, I've got giant gears there. That's pretty. So there's a whole bunch of batteries and stuff. Multiple rooms of engagement. And where's Jeff? Is he down here? Uh -huh. He is not. What a wasteful way to waste. <laughs> There's Jeff. Jeff is up there. So, this is a big crazy machine. Alright. We can make a zombie. We can make a zombie go in that basket. Do we want to, though? So, he's gonna go over there. Which means I can, like, hide in here. And... Oh, this is now just... Hmm. Seems like I'm just stuck on this side. Nope. I want to Jeff. I want to Jeff first. So you can do that. But then it rewinds. Yeah, so clearly what I'm supposed to do here is I prepare a zombie. I did this bad because I need my... Like, Okay, 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 okay. So the first thing you do is want to put a body on there so that it sticks this way. There, There's a reason for this. I'm playing Yum 2. <laughs> then we make a zombie. Then, like, I just need, like, physics jump my way through this tube zone. And there we go! We fed Jeff! We did it together! The zombies falling forever. Maybe he'll enjoy the ride uh, now that he reaches after life. Maybe. I don't know. We got big goofy gears and that makes me happy. Alright, so what we got here? So I want to put a battery in there to open that door. But there's a big old mean old fire spout in the way. This might be relevant. To get rid of the fire spout, we do that. And that happens. I got a zombifier there, and I don't know how they interact. That's a mighty good question. Oh, and if you send a guy down here, they're just stuck. That's cool. Alright, let's make a zombie together then. Uh, so romantic. Alright, so let's see what happens, I guess. Zombophone! Zombie man! Uh, becomes one! With the apple, Dan! Oh, I'm just supposed to open it up and they can fit in here. I, I completely misunderstood. Okay. And then I just put a guy down here for no reason. Doreen! When here for no reason. That's fun. Like, that's a door. Like, they can just go past this. Uh, the rail system is a system you can go through easily. Yeah. That's a big failure of actual looking around at things from me. 
Then you do that, and then you get a safe passage here. So, wow, duh, I solved the world. So, battery here does... Turns that around, which lets me press this button. Which will let me press that button, me? like, what are you doing? Okay. Sure. Alright. And then we press... Uh, we don't do that. Alright, so that was a waste. <clears throat> so this is gonna affect the door, which is going to let me... Go here, then I can burn the guy. But that's gonna bring that flame back. I can still use the zombie. Can I still use the zombie? Like, okay. Okay, the zombie's going this way. Well, I can make it turn around. So... Okay... See... Now I'm starting to wonder if there's just like a timed aspect to it. Not right now. But I know which direction... Okay, he's going the direction I would have faced. Oh wait, that didn't erase the existing zombie. That's interesting. So they always go the way I was facing at the time? I think so. So I can do this. No, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I attempting to do here exactly? Yeah, see, that just doesn't really help. No, it does! Because now I can do this... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I was just... I was just not looking at the right thing, I think I was... Big old chunk. But hey, look at that. We got Jeff. It's all good. It's all good. No, this this is a silly thing. But hey, I got like a Legionnaire. That's a pretty cool helmet. It's got a broom. It's a nice pattern. You can cram them. <laughs> I don't know. In the title screen, the knight seems to be... Wow. It's John Freud. Oh. Oh, jeez. Are we nearing the end? Well, I got stats to get. Alright. Do I remember how this works? What are my pars? I'm allowed 10 death. That's that's a lot. And we're gonna have a few here. Like, all of this here is something you just can't not add. So the direction you're facing when you become a zombie is the direction you will go when you become a zombie. These are the sentences that a real human has said. Alright, so all I need to do here, really, which is really silly, you do this, you become a zombo, you open a path. To go faster, I should have faced to the right, but whatever. This is a kind of small amount of uh, inconvenience you can give yourself for a good time. Alright, you're gonna turn off the flame soon. Here we go. Battery operated tunnel for me to go through. Alright, do I remember what to do? Like, I think I need to send... No. So, I wasted a life there. I think you pretty much always want a zombie. But this is good, though, because this gives me time to do this. I don't think it matters. Maybe this was wasteful. Now I got this going. Now I want... to hit this. I think I accidentally just nailed the exact order I wanted. And I want to remove the zombie so I can go here. Yeah, I did it! I read it basically entirely by accident. <laughs> Whoops! Hey, as you do. Okay, so yeah, there was a few wastes. I, uh, I, I zombified like once or two more than I absolutely needed, but hey. You know what? 
I want to do the pre-skull, so even though this is going a bit into overtime, whatever, doesn't matter, I'm gonna do it. So, yeah, we're gonna do a third one. Recycling your friends! 